Honey eaters are so harsh that even the bite of the most venomous snakes is not worth it, and a fight with a viper is his favorite pastime. He can attack an antelope or even a buffalo. There have been cases when a honey eater has converged in a fierce battle with a lion and a leopard for his fearlessness. The honey eater is even listed in the Guinness Book of Records as one of the most dangerous predators of Africa leopard. Not only does the body length of this wild cat exceed one and a half meters, not counting the almost meter long tail, and the weight is more than 60 kilograms, and sometimes all 90. So also the ability to hunt from ambush is innate. Cruelty makes even large ungulates afraid of this predator, it is not worth praising its bravery. Firstly, the cat acted from an ambush, and secondly, it's just a cub. And surprisingly brave and strong, although the leopard managed to knock him to the ground. The kid desperately fought for his life and bit back. Unfortunately for Spotted, there was another honey badger nearby. Parents, obviously. Well, he immediately did not hesitate for a second and went into a frontal attack on an enemy five or six times larger than me. The cat immediately realized that she was in danger of turning into lunch herself. Therefore, all she had to do was shamefully run away. The secret of the honey badger's success is incredible, the vitality and durability of his skin are very strong. In addition, the animal's body is also practically immune to poisons, for this reason, when a honey badger sees a cape cobra, he does not dance with it like a mongoose, but goes into a frontal attack. This snake is used to the fact that everyone is running away from it, but here it has already tried to escape, retreating, even flew off a tree and climbed into a thick bush. But the honey badger caught up with her. The cobra barely had time to straighten the collar, as her head was already in the predator's teeth. And although the cobra managed to inflict bites to inject venom to the enemy, this is not a problem for the honey badger, and this mammal is resistant to poisons of almost all kinds. Here is another snake that has bitten the honey badger several times. It hits the unprotected nose several times, but to no avail. The honey badger wants to bite off the snake's head. And although she realized the futility of her poison and tries to escape, the beast overtakes the reptile and quickly deals with it. If the honey badger meets a snake with an even stronger poison, his goal is to have time to bite off the head of the prey before its poison begins to act. The poison, which can suppress the antelope, acts on the honey eater as a mild sleeping pill. A few minutes of slumber and the animal is back on its feet and ready to eat the snake. At the same time, the honey badger is not an insensitive animal to pain, here you can see how the scorpion successfully stings with its sting into the nose of the honey badger, which is not protected by hard fur. This is a very sensitive area. But even an outbreak of terrible pain is not able to cool the hunting spirit and aggression of the honey badger, and he easily deals with arthropods. If you think that snakes that rely not on poison, but on muscles, pose a danger to the honey badger, then this is certainly not the case, this black and white and fluffy predator is able to cope with a python about 6 meters long. The python wrapped itself around the honey badger and began to strangle and try to break the enemy's bones, damage internal organs. Apparently, the snake decided that the honey badger was trapped. No, it's a python trapped in a trap that it can't get out of does here remind you of anyone?
It seems none of you understood. It wasn't me who was locked up with you, but you were locked up with me. The honey badger frees himself from his grip and seriously injures the snake and then simply drags the still living reptile to his home to have a quiet lunch. The funniest thing is the behavior of the brave jackals, who clearly knew how the fight would end. They usually don't get within shooting distance of the python, except that it becomes dinner for these horrible giant snakes. Here they are trying to bite off a piece of the reptile even before the honey badger deals with it, and all because they know that if the python fell into the paws of the honey badger, then the result of the battle should be the victory of the honey badger. Если медоед на земле, где у него есть преимущество маневренности, то справиться с ним... If the honey badger is on the ground, where he has an advantage in maneuverability, even lions will not cope with him. But we are talking about animals that are among the five largest and strongest carnivores on the modern planet. One day, a couple of honey eaters fought off a whole group of lionesses. But such a large gang of hunters poses a threat even to young elephants, how did the honey badger manage to stay alive after such a fight? Of course, tough skin played a role. But the main thing is desperate courage. The Libyans grabbed the honey badger several times, beat him with their paws, knocked him down, but immediately received such an aggressive response that they could only retreat, the honey badger instantly launched a counter-attack and began to pursue his abusers himself. He was aiming at the nose, a very sensitive part. The jaws of the honey badger are very powerful, the teeth are sharp, with luck he can easily injure the lioness, literally tearing her muzzle, the combination of excellent protection and extreme aggression allowed the honey badger to dictate the conditions of the fight and calmly leave, leaving the lioness without lunch. The secret weapon of the honey badger is the special properties of the skin, which does not fit tightly to the muscles, that is, when they try to grab the honey badger, he is able to wriggle so that he can bite in response. This allows honey eaters to resist even a male lion, which can grow up to two and a half meters in length, without taking into account the tail, and in a fight with one or two females. The honey badger does not even try to defend himself particularly, and goes on the attack himself. Another predator's weapon is incredibly strong jaws. The honey badger can even split the turtle shell, which the leopard and hyena could not cope with. Percent by the way, hygiene is the main rival of lions for power in the African savannas. But this rivalry of the honey badger does not bother at all. He is not afraid of anyone, although hyenas always attack in a pack and can break a zebra's tibia with one bite. The honey badger is not afraid of them, the fight looks epic, three hyenas surrounded the honey badger. But the honey badger snaps, does not let them block and stretch, and then goes the other way, and the hyena by inertia sweeps over him. And the honey badger immediately goes on the counteroffensive. Percent not a bad tactic. No matter how tough a fighter the honey badger was, he still got his name for a reason. This animal loves to eat sweets and loves to ruin the hives of wild bees. Insects sting him hundreds and even thousands of times. But you remember the incredible resistance to poisons and the ability to ignore pain. Honey eater calmly and without haste eats honey and bee larvae. Although they are desperately trying to drive him away. The honey badger can even break a tree for a sweet treat. Even if the bees live deep in the trunk, and if the prey rise to hide in the thorny bushes, the honey badger's tactics will not change. Only a frontal attack, only to the end. Yes, that there are some thorns and insects there. Honey badger hunts crocodiles. This story is amazing. The honey badger was looking for food and noticed an adult huge crocodile about four meters long, and the lion and hyenas would not have contacted him, but the honey badger himself was the first to fight, attack the crocodile, although he fought back, but could not harm the cool beast. 
however, thick and dense, the scales on the reptile's back are a real armor from the world of wildlife. Therefore, the honey badger retreated, but definitely not out of fear, it was just probably too lazy to open this protection. If the crocodile is small enough to turn it over, then the honey badger easily copes with it. He bites the stomach and neck, which are softer, which means they are more vulnerable. Fearlessness and the ability to rotate inside one's own skin, as well as insensitivity to poisons, give the honey badger super strength. What kind of superpower would you like to get? You answer in the comments, put a like. Subscribe to our channel and tell us what you want to see future stories about.